Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 6. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 25 of Book 6. Now in this proposition, we start with two arbitrarily drawn polygons, and what we're going to do is we're going to copy this polygon to that polygon so that they are both similar, but the area will be equal to the second. So again, this third polygon is similar to the first, but equal in area to the second. And that's what we're going to do in this proposition. So how do we do it? Now the first thing we're going to do is using the methods described in Proposition 44 of Book 1 is we're going to draw a parallelogram that is equal in area to ABC. So this area of this polygon or this parallelogram to be more precise, is equal in area to this triangle. And then we're going to take the area of this polygon and we're going to draw another parallelogram along the line CE with the angle alpha. And that's described, if you've forgotten, in Proposition 45 of Book 1. Quick recap. The, air, the parallelogram BE is equal in area to this triangle ABC, and the parallelogram EF is equal in area to this polygon. Now, since the lines BC and CF have equal angles, they form a straight line BF. And we're going to construct a line GH, which is the mean proportion of BC and CF, Proposition 13, Book 6, and if you've forgotten what the mean proportion means, it's that the ratio of BC to GH is equal to GH to CF. So the ratio of this line to GH is equal to the ratio of GH to that line. And now we are going to draw a similar figure, so we're going to draw a figure similar to ABC onto this line GH, and the area of this triangle will be equal to the area of this polygon D. And that's how you construct it. Of course, now we need to prove that the area of this triangle is equal to this area. So before we start the proof, I want to do a quick recap of Proposition 19, or the porism of Proposition 19 of Book 6. So let's assume that we have two lines, A and B. So we have a line A, we have a line B, and we also draw a line C that is the mean proportion. So this is line A, this is line B, this is line C, such that A is to B as B is to C. So B is the mean proportion. If I were to draw a figure, and excuse my crappy drawing, but if I draw two figures that are similar, then the ratio of the areas of these two figures will be equal to the ratio of A to C. And if you've forgotten as to why that is, let's consider that we know that the ratio of A to B, the areas of the ratio A to B, so the area of A to the area of B is equal to the ratio of A to B all squared. And that kind of makes sense. But if you've forgotten it, it's in one of the previous uh, propositions. Again, I'm going to start drawing this as fractions rather than ratios because I just find it easier to um, see what I'm doing. So we know that the area of A to the area of B is equal to A squared over B squared, where A and B is the length of the lines of the bases, which is equal to A over B times a over b, 
However, a to b is equal to b to c. So this will be equal to a to b times b to c. Cross this all out, and we're left with a over c. So the area of a to b is equal to the, sorry, the ratio of the areas of a to b will be equal to the ratio of the line a to the line c. All right, so that is the porism of Proposition 19 of Book 6. So carrying on with this proof, the ratio, <coughs> excuse me, the ratio of ABC to KGH is equal to the ratio of BC to CF because BC to GH is equal to GH to CF. So this all comes from the porism I just described. So we have ABC to KGH, the areas, the ratio of the areas is equal to the ratio of BC to CF. Well now, BC to CF is also equal to the ratio of the areas BE to EF because they are two parallelograms that have the same height. So their ratios are equal to the ratio, the ratio of the areas is equal to the ratio of the bases. So we have that BC to CF is equal to the area of BE to EF. But we have that BC to EF is equal to the ratio of the areas of the triangles, but it's also equal to the ratio of the two, uh, two parallelograms. So just removing this bit and this bit, we have finally that the ratio of ABC to KGH is equal to the ratio of these two parallelograms. If we take ABC to KGH equals BE to EF, and then we just manipulate the numbers a little bit, again through Proposition 16 of Book 5, we can also state that the ratio of ABC to the area of BE is equal to the ratio of KGH to the area of EF. But BE is equal in area to ABC. So this ABC to BE becomes BE to EE. BE, in other words, this becomes 1, which means that the ratio of KGH to EF is also equal to 1, or in other words, the area of KGH is equal to the area of EF. So that's our final point, is that these two areas are equal. And since the area of EF is equal to the area of D by design, then, sorry, KGH equals EF, EF equals D, so therefore KGH is equal to D. And so finally, we have not only shown you how to do it, but have proven that it is works. We have ABC is similar to KGH, and the area of KGH is equal to the area of D.